this is a solid team. I agree with your premise that feminism is perhaps the way to go with this. <clears throat> it's amazing how close you all were with um, your objects in terms of finding a theme so quickly too. I um, was making this video in preparation for our meeting tomorrow. Uh, Alexandra and I are looking forward to meeting, meeting you all. Uh, whoever said uh, about the fact that feminism, yes, feminism, but you could go deeper with that. Don't give up on that yet because you will have the opportunity to probably <clears throat> reflect upon your objects a little bit more as you're doing your writing and your research. But um, uh, this is the most solid team that I have seen. Of course, I have teams one, two, and three to go through yet. But um, I look forward, and I know Alexandra does too, and I'm meeting with you tomorrow and uh, discussing your possible narrative or your theme, which looks, looks like feminism. Uh, so now I guess the next thing, now that you've chosen feminism, perhaps as your theme, is to, when you're conducting your research on your objects, uh, my suggestion is, is uh, as what Alexandra already brought up, is to uh, be true to your object and uh, that might be true to your object meaning represent your object as it truly exists in terms of the research that's been done on how your object was made used and um, where it came from the provenance so represent your provenance accurately and also represent yourselves in terms of being true to yourselves in terms of why this object represents you and I think that if you do those two things your impression of feminism in terms of the common theme this is a beautiful object by the way that represents all of you together um, with your, your romantic poetry uh, your two portraits and this beautiful object Maybe it's through that, being those two things, being true to your objects and true to yourselves, that that deeper theme of feminism might come about. So excellent job. I appreciate all the work that you've done for your uh, challenge number three. This is absolutely fabulous to go through and read. I really did appreciate the, um, which somebody already said, the fact that uh, I got to learn more about this uh, romantic piece of poetry which is absolutely fabulous and I must say that um, this gold is beautiful and I love your theme of feminism and I also have a, an affinity towards Native Americans because Catawba Native Americans is what I was focusing on for um, my dissertation research so on many many different levels I've really enjoyed uh, reviewing your your Padlet page here for your team and look forward to speaking with you tomorrow and I know Alexander does too, so I'll talk to you tomorrow.